wire room you know it was actually quite the fun little thriller from start to finish what yeah. about it really caught your interest to want to be a part of it well you know what i thought the script was really good um it was another one of those seven day shoots which was like oh boy that's gonna be a challenge but i knew i could do it because i did hot seat and that was a seven day film which was kind of some similarities the scripts are entirely different but like hot seat i was stuck in the chair this time i'm stuck in a room i had a little more freedom but i love the script and then they told me bruce willis is doing it the legend so uh i was like yes sign me up i'm a big bruce fan and to work with him i did work with him before but i didn't have any i didn't have any scenes with him i was in the movie with him but this time i got to work with him great guy and a legend yeah he seems like a really down-to-earth kind of guy so that's awesome you you got that time with him yeah, um no doubt. no doubt and then unlike hot seat like you were mentioning uh you know this one does give you more freedom to move around i mean how does that factor into your performance when you're you know delivering these very tense dialogue scenes in comparison well i i think it really helps to be up i, I like to get on my feet and and um I can I could do some pacing because it, 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 the intensity it's tough when you're stuck in a chair, and I, you know I could I could pace a little bit and I had the room to work with it really it really helped because most of the time I'm looking at a blank screen I'm supposed to like be seeing murders happen on the screen but there's nothing happening on the screen it's black so uh, I you know you got to use your imagination a little bit and I, a lot of times I didn't have an actor to talk to I kind of you know I had. Uh, someone reading the lines i was nice oliver was nice enough to come in early and um he did some of his stuff with me off camera so i felt like we we were able to build chemistry even though we weren't on film at the same time and we did it at different times i felt like we had it's it's weird but i feel like we had chemistry even though we weren't together at the time well, you know, that is unique because, yeah, a lot of the times with phone calls, you don't get to be in that same room with the other person. So that's that's awesome. You had that that chance. And yeah. um, without necessarily spoiling it, though, the ending does leave it open for maybe you guys to to get back together in the future. Did you talk with Matt or Brandon at all about possibly? I think I'd mentioned it to, to Matt and to Oliver as well. I think it would be cool. Right. I mean, these guys got. You know, they they got I, I I promised them I'm coming for them. So uh yeah, I mean there there is a possibility that maybe let's see how it does. But the movie's a lot of fun, man. I I watched it last night and I loved it. I, I knew I had a feeling it was gonna be really good, but it was way better than I even thought. So well, there you go. That's that's great. Um and then you also uh get a lot of more actual action in this between the guns and the uh diving over couches and stuff i mean did you get yeah. to a lot of those stunts yourself or did you have I did the, the fight scene and uh all the shooting stuff but there was a, a moment where i get thrown into like these bookcases and uh i didn't do that i didn't <laughs> do that and i didn't do the jump over the couch you know what i i herniated herniated c3 c4 c5 all herniated from doing something on a movie called midnight clear I jumped out of the back of the Jeep and I rolled and I really hurt my neck bad. And uh, I leave the stunt man. I let the stunt men do it. I'll do what I can. I'll let the stunt guys, they're pros. They, they know what they're doing. So then what was it like to get to choreograph or be a part of the choreographing for the fight, uh, the hand to hand fight? Well, I'll tell you what, I got a, I got a lot of respect for like Keanu Reeves, who's so good at this stuff. And um, it's tough. You got to, it's, it's memorization. So I spent all the whole time trying to learn my lines. Then I get in and it's like, whoa, I got to memorize. Okay. Duck, throw the left. If you, if you screw up any of these, someone can get hurt. Someone can really get hit. They want you to come as close as you can without actually hitting the guy. And, uh, you know, if you go to throw a uh, right, when you were supposed to throw a left, that's another problem too. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's fun. And the guys, the more you do it, the better at it you, you become. You actually have to slow it down a little bit. You want to go so fast, but it doesn't sell as well as like a nice slow punch really looks more powerful. Yeah, no, definitely. I, uh, I've i worked with a stunt team myself before uh, for an event and uh, I get it. It's, it's, it's a yeah. challenging thing to do. How long did it take you then to, to really rehearse that, that part, that part? 
Uh, well, they they uh, they showed me the day before, so we kind of worked it the day before, and then we worked it that morning. Then we worked it on the set a bunch of times until we got that fight scene down. And uh, we had a great uh, the uh, stunt coordinator was really good. I worked with him twice and I'm spacing on his name right now, but the guy was amazing. And uh, yeah, he was really good. They're fun. They're fun scenes to do. They really are. Yeah. But I'll I, tell you, the next day you're like, ooh, I got a little, my shoulder, I got a little bruise on my ribs. You know, you really, you get banged up a little bit. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, it's And it's like you say, if, if uh, someone misses a cue, then you really get banged up. <laughs> oh, yeah. and it's happened. I remember in Platoon, I was supposed to, hit the guy with the butt of my rifle and um you know they're like try and get it a little closer try to get it a little closer and i it was a rubber butt mm -hmm. i kind of just you know just grazed him a little bit i'm like oh i'm sorry i'm sorry but that's the one they used it looked it looked the best i guess so. <laughs> oh that's funny that's that's uh, a little interesting behind the scenes story yeah, i like it that's going back a little bit 1986 84 86 yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> well, Kevin, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me again. Yeah, uh, greatly appreciate it. Good talking to you again, man.